since I was a little child. And my grandmother always said, that's your calling. And so I've tried to fulfill that calling. I had the opportunities to venture out into the world, and, but God hammers on me. He said, I'm his and I'm going to bring him the glory. So that's been my goal and my mission all my life, just to praise God with the gift that he has given me. Well, if you don't perception of the prison was real dark, real dark. The devil always want to give you a dark view. God always want to give you the light. Mm -hmm. It took God to open the door for you to come in here to see. Yeah, we made a mistake in life, but we're not living that life anymore. We're able to sit across the table from me and eat a meal and fellowship. We're able to stand up and talk with one another. We're able to shake hands and hug one another, embrace one another. Oh, I see because I'm happy. If it's God's will for me to remain in this prison the rest of my life, then his will be done. All I ask God is to give me all that I need to carry on the ministry that he has entrusted me with. And if I'm to leave this prison, it's going to be by his hand and his hand alone. So it doesn't matter whether I'm here in prison or out there. I know I'll still be with Jesus. He watches me. Yeah, <laughs> 